George was just sitting there and all of a sudden it's just like, roll over and pull my belly. Roll over and show my belly. I'm going crazy here. Crazy I like it. I'm biting my own sweat. <laughs> so we're in Gailey still and um, we're yeah. going to move. Yeah, the CRT finally updated its FAQs for boaters uh, to try and clarify what's going on with the lockdown thing. After mixed messages. Yeah, so yeah, they've got this thing for... Well, they've got this thing for sort of mutually contradictory messages going out with the website saying one thing and the website being quite vague and then customer there being service. sort of customer service on Twitter conversations with individual boaters which sort of points you in different directions and it's all a little... Not that we not that we have been asking them questions, but we see other people's conversations of other people that are confused and then yeah. answers that... That like, like, are sort of mutually contradictory. Yeah. So it was all kind of like, well, what is the actual thing? So anyway, they finally updated it. And what it says now is, is that continuous cruisers like us are supposed to continue moving as per our normal sort of travel plans, except for we're not supposed to leave or enter tier three areas. Now, because the entirety of the region we're in is a tier three area. We can carry on and do what we were plan to do anyway. Yeah. If coming up in front of us was a tier two county or something like that, we it should would, stop and yeah. not cross the the uh, into the new area or anything. I mean, either, like for essential services or something. Either way, we're going to stay on the boat and not mix with the communities that we go into anyway. Yeah. So it's... But effectively, we've got this band across the middle of the country right now that's all tier three. Because there's usually a block of stoppages in December and a block in January or a block that finish in December and a block that start in January there's like usually nothing over Christmas yeah and so we think we're going to we want to be on the other side of Birmingham before the January one starts yeah and we also want to tick off the three silver propeller locations that we missed which happen to all be in the same kind of little connected area yeah there's a slight detour but it's not major really we can do it. It's all fine. Slightly complicated by the fact that we've still got the car that we need to take back to London that we're not going to take back at Christmas because even though we're allowed to take it back at Christmas, it just seems a bit crazy when there's like our, our families all live in tier two and we're you know, cruising in tier, tier three. It just doesn't seem sensible. And we could in theory keep the car till later, but that would involve juggling it which is already proving problematic like for example the last cruise wasn't too bad because we just cruised here as normal and then i had a three mile walk and i actually enjoyed the three mile walk but today it's seven miles and i probably could walk back seven miles but the, prob could. the problem with it it was i walked back and then it was um it was getting dark and i don't want to be out in the dark so i'm going to drive to the other end because there's one lock here just above where we are and then there's no locks so me and George will see Michael through the locks, go to the other end, and then walk back to meet him, I think, or sit in the car. Probably yeah. walk back to meet you. <laughs> Probably walk back to meet me once I get somewhere close. Yeah. You're going to be down there yeah. in like 15 or no, you know, don't 20, 20 that something minutes. Whereas from, you'll be a few hours. I'll be a few hours. Yeah. So, yeah. So we'll uh, work it out. But yeah, so and while it's fine to do that for a couple of cruises it's not really how we work at all it's no like, i don't know how people do continuously cruise with no. a car and it gets really problematic as we look at the possibility of going through a city so yeah car, yeah so. and because it, it basically is <clears throat> what what's accessible in terms of walking distance yeah. because we're really trying to avoid if at all possible uses of the bus the train etc because yeah. of the covid restrictions so it's kind of yeah it's you complicated know, yeah <laughs> so it makes for a goofball thing i'm glad we've had the car in terms of our ability to restrain ourselves during lockdown yeah you know, we, we didn't have to go out for we didn't have to pop out every day for and groceries stuff. and we got to do our laundry and stuff yeah so it's like we could really wait until we we could do one big grocery trip or one big laundry trip and be like you know that's it instead of what we normally have to do which is kind of like it's fill up a carry. backpack that yeah. we can carry and, and, and only be able to deal with that much especially if there's a walk yeah Anyway, it's freezing today. You're going to freeze on the back. Shall I make you a hot water bottle? No, I'm okay. All right, then. All right. So, at least the sun is out. It's not intended to rain today. Uh, well, intended. I don't know. <laughs> not, not sure about that. But it's not uh, predicted to rain today. So, we'll uh, hopefully stay a little drier than yesterday. Well, I will be. I'll be, in, I'll be in a car. <laughs> well, yes. It's me. I will hopefully stay drier than yesterday and the day before. Because it's been quite rainy the last two days. Yeah, last night, oh my gosh. Yeah, it was just pounding down overnight, mm -hmm. which is why we woke up thinking we wouldn't be able to move today. But, but we are, so yeah. let's go. Okay.
Last time we were here, we got to visit the shop in the old lockkeeper's cottage, but of course it's closed at the moment. It's a very sweet little canal shop, and it's housed in a wonderfully unusual circular building, complete with castellated parapets. There's a sanitary station and water point just above the lock, and as there's no boats waiting for us to finish, we decide to make use of the Alsan while we're still in the lock. Michael waves goodbye to George, and once I shut the gate behind the boat, we go off to find the car, while Michael continues down the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal towards the junction. The journey gets off to a slowish start as he cruises with the engine in Tickover as he passes all the private moorings and hire boats. At the end of all the private moorings are some quite lovely visitor moorings. There are seven lock-free miles from here to Orthley Junction, so Michael settles down for the journey ahead. Here Michael is passing Hatherton Junction. Seven miles of the Hatherton Canal is under restoration and there will be 17 locks on that length. Eventually it should provide a direct link from here to the Birmingham Canal navigations. So, parked the car near Orthley Junction and started walking back towards the boat with George, which is why I'm being dragged off. Um, I can hear him on the radio, but I can just hear um, crackle. I can't hear any words, but I think he's about three miles away still. So, George and I are just going to slowly wander up and hopefully we'll meet him soon.
We're entering the outskirts of Wolverhampton now. There are houses on both sides of the canal and there's a lovely open green space running between the towpath and the buildings. Being that it's December, it's so nice to see another boat coming the other way. Often when we cruise at this time of year, we can travel for days without seeing anyone else on the move. And there's some people out working hard on their allotments too. We finally meet Chorthley Junction, which is where the Shropshire Union Canal meets the Staffordshire and Worcestershire. We went that way back in 2019. So we have made it to Orthley Junction. Indeed. How was your cruise? Cold. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's a beautiful, crisp day. It's lovely. Crisp as in, cold. as in painfully <laughs> cold. Um, but the sun's shining. Yeah, the sun's shining. It's. Uh, it's been beautiful weather, no rain, no nothing, no hint of any sort of precipitation. Beautiful blue sky, lots of ducks about and horses on the side all standing around. I saw some donkeys, the one they went, <laughs> they were like putting up this cloud of... Sorry, how did they go? No, Eeyore, Eeyore, whatever it is they do. <laughs> they were putting up this like cloud of loud complaint and, and irony. And it, anyway, it was... <laughs> It's definitely one of those days where it's nice to be on the boat, but... There's a limit. <laughs> there's a limit, because after a while of just standing there at the rear... Yeah, when you don't have locks to get on and off, or... Yeah, it's just because, you know, like, like I've got no... I, the only thing I can do is kind of stamp my feet and, yeah. and sort of try and move up and down. And uh, that only works so far. <laughs> so, so, yeah, after a while, it's like... Okay, my nose has gotten cold. All right, my ears have gotten cold. All right, I can deal with both those. Okay, now they've gotten numb. Well, numb's okay. Doesn't at least it's not cold anymore. You know, <laughs> and it's like I can't feel my feet anymore. Yeah, that's pretty cold. That's probably pretty, pretty much too cold. Nope, we've just been blown out by the sun. So, yeah. so the next trip will be up the Wolverhampton flight. So we hopefully won't be so cold because we'll be. Working. Well, we'll be yeah, yeah, working locks and everything definitely helps with the cold, and. With any luck, this time, when we go up the Wolverhampton flight, it won't take two days. There won't be a stoppage partway up that gets announced at the last second. And there won't be there two, won't inches, be two of inches of ice to push through. And if there are, we'll just wait out. Yeah. <laughs> so looking forward to actually seeing the Wolverhampton without being Stress. right out of my mind angry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, having an argument halfway up with yeah. the sexist. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the greatest of days. So... So looking forward to going up at just kind of just the two of us and not too much to no, stress about and everything. We just jinxed ourselves. Yeah, well, that's true. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to Minimal List Maximal Velocity if you want to see our time lapses. And uh, click that bell thing if you may or may not want to get notifications. Mm -hmm.